sacred chamber that lies ahead contains an ancient Theocrist column. For centuries, travelers have journeyed throughout the planet of Strata by means of these columns. Connecting the world with inner worlds, Theocrists are able to transmit far more than mere light. Through the use of Aristide powder discovered by Tor I in the early Unity period, people now have instant mobility. So step inside and enjoy the latest in Theocrist travel. Is he safe? Far away, where he will come to no harm. Although we suspect your involvement in the murder of our beloved royal couple, we could not find enough evidence to convict you. But since you were clearly guilty of kidnapping the Crown Prince, you are hereby sentenced to spend the rest of your life in the lands below. I therefore order an ostracizing collar be fabricated for you and placed around your neck, never to be removed. And should you ever attempt to return to the lands above, the collar will tighten until it chokes you to death. That's all right. Oh, hey, quit! No, 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 my ears are Soft killing me! Uh, Knock it off! Oh, sorry! Oh, I mean, uh, okay. You seem to be a kinder, gentler giant, not like some giants we know. I wonder if you could help us with a problem. But of course. You need some logs moved, uh, rocks realigned, villages trampled. Much worse. We recently captured another giant, but very different from you. This one will not cooperate at all. What can I do? Perhaps if you talked with it. Well, okay. But are you sure I'll be safe? Follow me. Oh, no! No! 
I it's okay. I won't hurt you. No! No! It's all right. I'm not going to hurt you. Ha! Huh. You're with them, aren't you? Get away from me! But... but I want to free you. Get away! You'll only hurt me more. Won't you let me help you? Help me? Like they did? Ha! Huh. Show some respect. Just leave me here to die. Oh, I could never do that. You're far too, too, uh, too beautiful for me to leave you here. Flattery won't help. Go away, so help me. If you do figure out a way to release me, I'll scratch your eyes out. Hey, you're Lena, aren't you? I just came from your homeland. Uh, I met your mother and father. You did? Escarpa? My parents? Oh, how I wish I had listened to them. I wouldn't be in this mess. They told me to give you this. What is this? Some sort of cruel joke? Is this trinket supposed to fool me? What are the Perkolins trying to pull? And to think for a moment there, I started to trust you. What? No! I mean, Queen Di said to give it to you. Ha! Huh. Like I'm going to believe that. You could have found this bauble anywhere. Oh, look! That is my dear sweet father and I. Oh, how I miss them. Maybe you are from Scarpa, but you're so tall. Who are you, anyway? My name is Torin, but I'm not from Escarpa. I'm from the lands above. Torin of the lands above. Do you promise not to harm me? I swear. At present, I can think of nothing worse. All right, then. Quick, cut me loose. Well, um, hmm. Hurry, before they stop you. Yeah. Uh, I can't. I I'll have to try to break each little thread, I suppose. Why? Use your knife. Well, that's just it. I didn't bring a knife. Some hero I am. Well, hold still. Here goes. Then, I'll tell you a little secret. All this time, I've had a knife hidden in my boot, but they tied me up before I regained consciousness. Hold still. I wouldn't want to cut you. Oh, thank you, Torin. That was horrible. Here. Here's your locket. Here, let me help you up. Oh, wait. Look at your arms. You're bleeding. What? Oh, uh, I'm okay. I dropped a long ways through the trees before I landed on this soft loam. I must have, uh, you know, caught some branches on the way down. It's nothing. Nonsense. Come over here. I'm sure I heard a stream this way. Everyone in Escarpa said we should meet, but I never dared dream we really would. Everyone else was so short and hairy. I was always the ugly duckling. Too tall, too thin, hair only on top. But with you, I feel, I don't know, somehow normal. <laughs> I think you're anything but normal. What? Torin? Huh? No, no, what I meant was... Uh, 
You're far above normal. You're, you're beautiful, wonderful, perfect. Oh, Torin. But my parents must be worried sick. Well, yeah, they are. They really want you to return home. And my parents, they're still in danger. I must I go must back. go on. You're, You're right. right. <laughs> <laughs> but will I see you again? You must. Excuse me, you two. Will you be staying for dinner? If so, I'd better send out several hunting parties. No, we've got to leave immediately. We have to begin our search for a phenocryst. Oh, no need. I know right where one is, but it's pretty far away. What? I can't believe it. Does it work? Well, it might. You see, it hasn't been used in some time. Somehow, I could have guessed that. Let's go, Lena. Attention, everyone. This is Torin and his friend Lena. Please give him your attention. They're all yours. But what do I do? Well, that's the problem. No one knows. The Phenocryst hasn't been used in generations. Legend has it that when the Ostiaries find perfect harmony, the world will open unto them. But even when wearing these ancient sacred robes, they cannot find the way themselves. Can you help them? Oh, boy. Okay, uh, you step into the center. And you, uh, take his place. Jump up here! Those carvings must symbolize something. 
I bet that door hides a phenocryst. Hmm, four dots and a circle. Hmm, four dots and a circle. Five concentric rings. That's it. The pattern was five ascending notes leading to the second nested planet. So that phenocryst goes back to Escarpa. Torin, I knew you could do it. You did? But now what? Oh, this part I know. Stand over here. I'll throw enough of this powder for both of us, and off we'll go. Don't forget me, Torin. I couldn't, Lena. Be 
careful. This licentia sounds dangerous. I will. Now, close your eyes. They are closed. Save enough powder for a trip to Escarpa. I promise. I'll see you soon, Lena. Somehow. Goodbye, Torin. And goodbye, Boogle. I always felt you were innocent. Kurtzwell needed a scapegoat. All these years away from your home, your family, your friends, you must be so bitter. Perhaps. I've learned to use the darkness to get what I want. I've heard you've become quite the powerful sorceress. Oh. But not quite powerful enough to overcome the magic of that color. Not yet. But perhaps soon. And when I do, I promise revenge. But what if you could return sooner? What? Ha! <laughs> The collar will not be denied. I could release it for you. <laughs> oh, Peckant. You know its spell can only be broken by royalty. And no matter how much you scheme, you'll never be king as long as the boy lives. Yes, but think, Lysentia. Who sealed the collar? Kurtzwell. That... Are you suggesting you could become Arch Authority? Let's just say if you'll do a small favor for me, I'll do a large favor for you. And just what would that small favor be? Nothing much, just a little magic spell.